Hello there, my name is Ismaus and today we're going to be looking at how to create a cloning effect using Blender and a green screen. Now this is exactly what we are going to be doing, you can see me there levitating in air. Yeah, so the first thing you want to do is uh, record yourself on a green screen and then key out uh, the green screen uh, using any software. You can use Blender, I think uh, Ian Hubbard has a good tutorial on that. Uh, I use After Effects because it was faster for me. Uh, you can also use Premiere Pro, it has ultra key you can use that so what you want to do is uh, film yourself are uh, doing any actions you want uh, if you want to do the cloning effect you want to do uh, multiple takes or just record yourself using one take and uh, just uh, uh, make different actions you can see what I did here is a uh, move in different angles orient my body in different angles to the camera so that uh, I can cut out different sequences and uh, duplicate those. Uh, then you want to export out a PNG sequence with Alpha Channel uh, to Blender and import that image sequence using images as planes add-on. Uh, you can enable that in the preferences. Uh, I have the first sequence up, uh, loaded in. Yeah, so I'm just moving the the different sequences into position. I can see I it, I created one shot of me kneeling in different positions, uh, orienting my body to the camera in different angles. You can see I have a me facing uh, facing the facing my back to the camera, and I have a one way I'm facing directly to the camera, and when, one way I'm facing uh, uh, the the sides. I'm facing my sides uh, to the camera. Uh, what I did. Because I wanted to have uh, several versions or clones of myself um, with just a single take, I, I offset uh, the sequences a bit so that uh, they're not playing at the same time all the, all the time. So uh, you can do that using your materials. If you go to the image sequence uh, node uh, that you have, you, there is an offset value uh, where you can offset the frames of uh, the animation. Uh, here, because uh, my green screen was not long enough, so my, my feet were cut off, I just took a, a single p image of my feet, of uh, my lower body, and then parented that to the upper body, and then uh, animated the plane moving upwards. I, I then placed all the other images in a circular, uh, yeah, around uh, that center image. Uh, you don't really have to rotate the images, they just have to face the camera. And uh, a, a nice way to make sure that uh, they, are always, they stay, ori they stay uh, yes, oriented to the camera is uh, adding, uh, I think, a constraint, a track to constraint, uh, choosing the camera as your target. Uh, this will make sure that uh, the camera, uh, the images are always facing directly to the camera. Uh, here I'm still just re uh, adding my lower body and uh, my feet uh, into uh, the sequence as uh, my green screen, as I said, wasn't, wasn't long enough to capture the full body and uh, my room is not that wide, uh, that long uh, to have a full wide shot of uh, the entire body. So I just shot, uh, I just did a single uh, image uh, of my lower body and then parented that uh, to, uh, the, to the to this to the plane and uh, yeah blender was having some issues here uh that blue thing you think i think it's a bug so if you're experiencing it don't worry about that just uh try uh changing your values your image sequence values and see if uh that error will go away i'm sure it will be fixed by the time this is uploaded but uh yeah i was having a few issues with that so uh, you can also try using a newer version of blender to see if that uh, bug has been fixed. Yeah, so I wanted to add in a few extra details to make the scene more powerful and more detailed. Uh, so I grabbed a bunch of my assets, a bunch of assets from my previous uh, videos and uh, reused them.
can see because we set uh, the images to have a constraint a track to constraint facing the camera uh, i'm all they're always facing the camera no matter how the camera is moving and you can see i'm just creating more duplicates here and offsetting the keyframes of uh, the duplicate so that uh, we are never seeing the same uh, animation uh, the same uh, video sequence now all that is left is just detailing the sequence uh, the scene and uh, make things uh, look much better uh, again if you want the project files you can uh, download them over my patreon page i will see how i set up everything uh yes so that's it i'll see you ah so here i'm just i wanted to add in some moth uh, for realism as ian Hubbard says uh, so i added i created uh, an image sorry a plane and i animated it using keyframe using shape keys and to make it repeat i just added a cycle a cycle a modifier to the anime to the keyframes and uh, then added uh i used that as a particle sequence as a particle object uh, to add uh, the fireflies in there uh, i can see here i'm creating uh, that uh, uh the emitter uh, for that particle system and uh, just dropping in uh those uh fireflies uh, into the sequence yeah thank you for watching see you in the next video